So can you see the record button on your place? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's being recorded now. Okay. So now let us move on to the next question. So the answer is 20 meters per second. This one, uh, what is your answer? Find W, X, Y, Z. Hold on. Just before that, I just want to highlight, we are doing Greendale Secondary School, end of year examination 2014, paper 1. And now we are at question number 4. And your answer is? W is 0 0.6. Okay. X? 5 over 8. Y? 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Five, pi over 2, okay. And Z? 8 over 5. Okay, let's cheat. Let's uh, not cheat again. Is this correct? Yeah. Okay, well done. Okay, that means we don't need to go through this. Let's go through now the next one. Um, ratio. How many boys were there? You answer? Can do, right? 35. 35. How many uh, boys joined the group? 25. So 35 and 25. Let us see, yeah. 35, correct, and 25. Congratulations. Hey, miss, you're doing well. Huh? These are questions you had difficulty last year, right? Okay, now. A, for A question, could you do this? Uh, yes. Okay, what's your answer for local time in Rome and in the right for A? 21.40. 21.40, let us see. Yeah. 15.40. So let us see. A plane arrived from Chang'e Airport, Singapore to Rome, Italy. The flight took 12 hours and 55 minutes. When the local time is 8 a.m. in Singapore, it is 2 a.m. It's earlier. It's earlier in Rome. Okay. So now you plus 12.55, what do you get? 21.40, is it? Yeah. But that's the time in Singapore. We want to know the local time, not in Singapore, in Rome. You must go. Yeah, you must minus how many hours? Uh, six. Minus six hours. So, okay. Eh? You want to make adjustments for your next? Uh, uh, you don't need to. Okay, the, the plane, a plane travel, or oh, the plane. The plane travel a total distance of 10,075 km. Find the average speed of the plane per hour, km per hour. 780. 780. And do you take one uh, 10,075 divided by 12.55? Yeah. But 12.55 means, if let's say it's 12.60, will you write 12.60 or you write 13? Mm -hmm. Remember, okay, we just call, uh, we just see, uh, what's your answer again? 7? 8.0. Okay, let's see. This is not 7.8. Okay, you use a fraction, is it? Like this? Uh? Yeah. Okay, if you use a fraction like this, it's okay. But if let's say you 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 write it like this, uh, now you take 10,075 divided by 12.55. Do you know that this will be wrong? You know why? You, you know that. This is not correct, yes, but... Yeah, this 0.55 is like half, you know, near to slightly more than half. Let's say now 50 minutes. I cannot, I cannot say, let's say now it's 12 hours and 50 minutes. I cannot write like this because 12 and a half hours, half hour is 30 minutes, not 50 minutes. So you got to be careful. Huh? Okay, I'm glad they use fraction. So well done. Okay, you've got it. This correct. Okay, great. Huh? All right. You, you are clear, right, um, Emma? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, um, what are prime numbers? Can you give me um, the smallest prime number? Two. What's the biggest prime number? Mm. Is there? It's that so is big. It's like... Millions. <laughs> lah. Okay, yeah, actually, actually they, are, they are still, I think, searching for the biggest prime number. I'm not too sure. But, you know. Yeah, but anyway. Um, Express 540... Uh, okay, do you have your working for this? What's your answer yeah. for this? What's your answer for this? 2 to 2 times 3 to 3 times 5 to 2. So 2 times 3 times 5, 2 to, two to the power 2 times 3 to the power 2 times 5 to the power two. 3. Or 2. Uh. Let us see. F 3 to the power, uh, 2 to the power 3. Is this the same 2 to the power 3 or 2 to the power 2? Yours is? 2 to the power of 
Oi. You, 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 can I see? You have your working? No. You have your working? I have three tools and then I put two to two. Okay. So be careful. Eh? That means you know how to do this already. All right. Let's see. Now the next I one. I forgot how to do B. Okay. No. What's the smallest cost positive integer such that uh, it's a perfect square? So imagine. Okay. Now, since we're recording this, we can, we can, uh, you can refer to it again. And next time, if you forget, you can refer to it. Eh? Okay. Um, oh, just hold on. Okay. Here we go. Where is, oh, I bought a new duster on this now. You can see this? Can can see here? Yeah? yeah. Okay, now let's say now you have a number. You have a number. Give me a number, an uh, even number. Mm. 62. 62. Is, can you try to find a square root of 62? Is it possible? You have get a whole number? No. No. So let us find now prime factorization. We do together. Divide by 2, get 31. I think 31 is a, is a, is a prime number. Eh? Yeah, 31 is a prime number. So the next number, you cannot divide by 2. You cannot divide by 3. You cannot divide by 4. You cannot divide by 5. You cannot divide by 6. You cannot divide by even uh, 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Before that is... 15. 15 times 2 is 30. So this is a prime number. So the next number is 31. So I'm going to write it as like 2 times 31. This is now the prime factorization. Now, we need to make this a square. This is not a square. This is like one side is 2 times 31. In order to make it a square, and down here is like, like, like 1. Lah. Okay, like 1. We want to make it a square, we got to have the length and breadth. This side also has to be 2 times 31. Okay, it has to be both sides so that we can make it into a square. Then we can square root it. So down here, maybe this is not such a good example, but um, we need to times, it needs to be to the power 2 to the power 2. Why? Remember, you got to be able to divide it into two groups of numbers. Do you remember? Because you want to square root it, so you have 2 times 31, 2 times 31. Okay, give me another number. Give me another number. This number does not work. Can you, can you give me another number? Another number, please. Even number. 40. 40, okay. Can you find a square root of 40 first? Is, is it? No, okay. So now you tell me, divide by? 2. 2, you get 20. Divide by? 2 again, you get 10. Divide by? 2. 2, you get 5. Divide by? 5. 5, you get 1. So now 40 in prime fact, uh, index notation is, is 2 to the power of 3 times 5. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, sir, because 1, 2, 3 to the power of 3 and 5. Now, can we try to divide this number into two groups? Because, uh, is it possible? Let's say now we put one, huh? cannot, right? Two. Okay, put two. You put one, two here. So there's two twos ready, all right? But there's one more two. So this one, two to the power two. This one's two to the power one. Therefore, you get three, correct? And then you put the five here. Can you see that this number is not the same as this? You must make this the same. So you need to times this number by what? How do, can you make this number the same as this? Oh, you need to times another 2 and another 5. So you need to times the whole thing by 10. Then you can have this number now being 2 to the power 2 times 5. Because originally there, there's no 2 to the power 2. It's just like that. It's like this only. What is missing here? 5 is missing here. And another 2 is missing here. So that's why we need to times this number by another 2 and 5. So this will become 2 to the power 2 times 5. So we need to times by 10. So I'm going to draw this now as a, as a, this index notation here. I'm going to draw it, try to make a square. Because 
they want, as your question says over here, oh, oh my goodness, this is so small. I'm so sorry. Hey, why didn't you tell me, Emma? No, I can switch the thing on my own. You can switch? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm the one who's using Zoom and I do not know this. But anyway, so imagine now, I want to make this a square. On one side, I have 2 to the power 2 times 5. But down here, I only got 2, which means this is not a square. This is a rectangle. And they say, this is a rectangle, right? They say they want this to be a square. So in order for this to be a square, I need to times this by another 2 so that I can get 2 to the power 2. And I need to times this by another 5, which means I need to times this by 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Then I can get the square here. Do you get it? So what is the smallest number I need to multiply this by is 10. Then I can get this, what number? I can get 2 to the power 2 times 5, like that. I can get double of this. Why do I want double of this? Because this number must be able to be square rooted. And let's say if you have something like this, 2 to the power 2 times 5, times 2 to the power 2 times 5, when you square root it, the answer is, 2 to the power 2 times 5. Same number times itself. That 5 times 5. Square root of 5 times 5 or 25 is 5. Are you lost? No. Okay. Now you try to do that question now. You try to do that question. The one, the one in the... Okay, I'm going to share screen. Find the smallest integer such that 5,400... You've got to do 5,400. Have you done this? 5,400, you've already done, right? There you have your... Prime factorization, I'm going to write this on the board. You tell me what's your prime factorization now? The index uh, notation of 5,400, what do you get? 2 to 3 uh -huh. times 3 to 3 times 5 to 2. Okay, so you need to make it into, you put in, what are you going to put in here? 2. 2 times 3 times 5 can? Yeah. 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 2 is really 2 to the power of 2. There's one more 2. So this one must be 2 to the power of? You have 2. Okay, you see, now I remove the bracket. You can see, no? This means times, right? You know, two brackets that are side by side it means times. If I do it like that, you tell me now. That's what I'm doing, eh? Now, it's a perfect square now. But, but hold on, this is not this number. You tell me, this will be what? 2 to the power of how many? How many 2's are there? 2. So 2 to the power of 2 times, how many 3's are there? 3 to the power of 2. 2 times 5 to the power of? 1. 2. two. Now, is this number... The same as this number? No. The, this number has 2 to the power 3. 3 to the power 3. So you are missing now times another 1 more 2, another 1 more 3. If you multiply by another 2, you have 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, then this be 3 to the power 3. Then 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, then 3 to the power 3. 5, 1, 5, 2, 5. Now this is the same number. Can you see? But we are supposed to divide it into two groups. So we are short of this one. We need to multiply this by, an, sorry, not short of this one. There is an additional one here, this one. So we have to put it in one of the brackets. So I'm going to put it in the first bracket. So this becomes, this two I'm going to mix it here. So it becomes two to the power of? One. Not one. 1, 2, 2 to the power of? I'm mm. going to 2. 3 to the power of? 2. 5 is just 1, right? So can you see now, this one is to power 1, power 1, power 1. This one is power 1. Do you know what number needs to be multiplied to this number to make it into two equal number groups? 6. Times, is it 6? Huh? Yeah, times 6. Because 2 to the power of? You need to times by 2 and 3, right? So then it becomes 2 to the power 2, 3 to the power 2. 
So you need to times by six. Once you times by six, you can have two groups like this. Two to the power two times three to the power two times five to the power one, which is just five. And two to the power two times three to the power two times five. Now this can be square rooted. Now it's a perfect square. So you need to times by six. How? Okay, now. Okay, since we are recording this, so it's not a problem, right? Since we are recording this, okay, I just show this thing. Eh? Because when you when you are looking at the YouTube thing, you might not be able to see. So since you are recording this, you can revise this on your own. Okay? So we, we don't waste time, we move on. Can? Okay? Don't no. look happy. Don't look happy. I should not. Okay, okay but never mind. It's okay. Question number uh, eight. What is your answer for the height? 2.25. 2.25, let us see. 2.25, good, okay. And then, okay, 2.25. What was the step that you used? Can I see your, your working? Okay, this is 54 divided by 24. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We move on now to the next question. Huh? Question number nine. What's your answer for, sorry. What's your answer for question number, hold on. Huh? Question number nine, which is cake costs. Uh, cake costs. The cost of the cake. Huh? Um, express the price of two slices of cake. What? I think, did we do this just now? Yeah, the other day? Uh, I think so. Okay, so what's your answer for this one? Twelve over x plus y over three. So repeat twelve y over sorry. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Twelve over x plus y over three. Twelve over x plus y over three. Congratulations, mm -hmm. and you understand perfectly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Question number ten. Do you do this also? Yes. Can do. Can do, is it? Miss, do you know that this is end of year question and you can do it now? It is not even the mid, not even uh, full half year. So, but it's good. Okay, what's your answer for question 10A? 14. 14. Wow, okay. What's the answer for uh, 10B? 3x minus 10y plus 3. 3x minus 10, oh, this one 3x plus 4y. So let us see. Um, remember to, to always look at the sign in front. In front of 5 is a plus sign, eh? 5x. All right, there's a plus sign there. 3y is minus. So let us collect all the x together. You have $5. You owe $2. So you have oh, $3. You, owe $3 eh? you got 3x? Yes. Okay, now, you owe $3 and you have $7. So, in the end? 4Y. 4Y. Plus 4Y? Or minus 4Y? Plus. Oh. Plus, huh? Because your, your 7Y is plus, you have $7, you owe $3. You sure must have some balance. So, the answer will be 3X plus 4Y plus 3 which is what this is, okay? You all right, huh? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, what is your answer for question 11? 21, 21, 5, 5.25. 5.35? 25. 5.25? 25. 25. 21, yeah, congratulations. Okay, uh, okay. 5.25. Just later, we... Okay, what about your answer for uh, B? Minus 13. Minus 13. You got 4X, 4X, 10, 10, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 22. 4X. Are you sure? Let us see. Yeah? 10, 11B. 11B. Okay, this one is correct. Yeah? 5.25, correct. You say minus 13, right? It's minus 8. So let us go through step by step. Huh? All right, down here, I'll enlarge it. Okay. So we, 
So now you expand for me the first, the left side. What do you get? Five x plus ten. Ten x plus ten, right? Five x. Five x. Oh, okay. I heard you wrongly. Okay, five x plus ten, and the left side is. Oh, sorry. You there is still a minus three. Must include the minus three here. Yeah? Equals to six x plus fifteen. All okay so far? Yeah. Okay. So now we are. Okay, you can. You want to simplify this one first. 10 minus, this is plus 10, correct? You have $10, you owe $3. So what is the balance? 5x plus or minus? Plus, because you have $10, right? So when you pay the $3, you are left with uh, 7. So now down here will be 6x plus 15. Now, down here, I suggest do what is easy. You want to find what is x. If you bring the six over the other side, six x over this side, this becomes minus six x. Then five x minus six x, you get minus x or minus one x. So why not we bring the five x over this side? Okay, we, we try again. We bring the five x over this side. You have six x is still the same. You minus bring five. Uh, minus five x. At the same time, you bring the plus 15, you bring it the other side. It becomes? Seven minus 15. Okay, good. 7 minus 15. Good. Now, let us do the x first, okay? 6x minus 5x, what do you get? 1, no, x. 1, uh, x, okay. 7 minus 15, you have $7, you owe $15. Uh, $8. Oh, minus okay. Eight. Good. So that's how you do it. Can you look at your working? Can I see your working, please? How do you do your, your B? Question? No, I, I you put don't the x to the other side. You put that. Yeah, it's okay to put the X on the other side. Okay, let me, let us do now, we bring the X on the other side. Okay, because I do not want you to be confused. You can do the other way also. Let's, let's try, okay? Your expansion now down here is here. This, we, we agree with this, right? This working is okay so far? Yes? Yeah. Okay, now we bring the 6X over that side. So this one become 5X plus 6X become minus 6X, correct? Correct? Yeah. Yes, uh, minus 6X. And then the 7, we can bring over that side. It becomes minus 7, right? Plus 7 become minus 7. Do you agree? Yeah. So there's 15 here, minus 7. So 5x minus 6x, what do you get? Minus x. X, good. Equals to 15 minus 7. 8. 8, okay. So now how to get rid of this uh, minus x? Okay, you can times this by minus 1. Now here, imagine. Huh? You take minus x times minus 1. You will get minus times minus, get plus, right? And then, if, since you times this by minus 1, you must take the 8 times minus 1 also. 8 times minus 1 also. Can you see now? I'm multiplying both sides by minus 1. Okay, so then I get minus of minus become plus x equals to minus 8. Can see now. Are you confused by why I can times now? Are you confused about that? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to, you play seesaw before. Have you, have you been on the seesaw before? Yeah. When was that? Uh, when I was a kid. Define what when when is kid? Are you, are you a kid now or you are you are uh, before? Kid means how many how many years old? Six. Six years old means you were six years old when you had it seven years ago. Okay, let's try. Now down here now. Your weight, imagine your weight last time is twenty kg. Okay. Are you okay? Now you know you have a five five kg sack of rice. Have you seen? Your mom buys rice, right? Yeah. There is a 5 kg sack of rice. How many 5 kg sacks do you need to, to, to add up to 20 kg? Four. Four, good. Huh? Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah? Now, imagine now, you have a twin sister. Okay? By the name of Imi. Okay? Imi joins Emma. 
Now this thing has times two, you know, same weight. Both of you are identical twins. Your weight is now going to be 40 kg. Do you agree if you times this by two, it's balanced, right? Now it's not going to be balanced if you only times one side. It's going to be this way. It's no longer equal. Equal means exactly the same. This is equal. You see, when, when you were on the uh, seesaw, your weight was equivalent to four sacks of five kg rice. Now, since there's two of you, you times this by two, you must also times this by two. It becomes eight sacks of rice. Do you agree? What's the weight of eight sacks of rice? Eight times five, correct? No. Equals to 40. So what, is it still balanced? Yeah. So in an equation, if you times the right-hand side by whatever number, you must also times the left-hand side by whatever number. If you divide the down here by whatever number, you must also divide this. Then the seesaw will be straight. It will always be equal. That's why down here, when I showed you the example, I want to remove, I want to remove the minus sign. Here goes minus eight equals to minus x equals to eight. I do what, do not want minus x. I want to know what x is. So I times it by negative one. When I times by negative one, the x disappears. Minus times minus equals to plus, right? So I must do the same. If I times the left hand side by minus one, I must also times the minus, uh, right side by negative one. So now eight times negative one becomes minus eight. And this one becomes x. So x equals minus eight, which is the same as just now, x equals minus eight. Why did I choose to bring over earlier to that side? Because I think it caused you to be less confused. Am I correct? Yeah. So you choose whichever way you want. Okay, if you are confused by this, you're still confused, no problem, no problem. Now down here, I show you another way. Uh, can you bring the minus x over that side? Can it? It becomes. There's a bug on my okay. TV. Okay, get rid of the bug. Are you are you scared of bugs or? You have bugs no, or? I just, I just killed it. You kill it. Huh? What type of bug was it? Flying in. Oh, you are putting. Putting. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Now, you have minus x over here, right? Can you bring this minus x over that side? It becomes what? Minus plus x, x plus x equals to x. Eight down here, you bring over this side, it becomes? Minus x. I mean, minus eight. Is it easier this way? Say x equals minus eight. It's true. You can also do this method. There's so many methods, no. Just like so many methods for you, so many ways to go to school and return home, you can choose any path you want. Are you confused? No. No, huh? Okay. So here we go. If you want to copy later, you can have a look at the video. Okay, I will upload the video inshallah by today or tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, your answer for question number 12. Uh, 63. Angle, 63 for angle A. Let us see. Yeah? Well done. Okay. And, and answer for question number Z, uh, for B. 61. 61. Okay. You are very clear how to get it, right? Yeah. Okay, good. good, good, good. Then I wouldn't... Uh, what, what was C? What's your answer was C? 56. 56. Okay, well done. You're spot on. Okay. So now notice down here the answer key. Deduct one mark for overall question if no reasons are given. Or if, if your answer is correct but you're, you have incorrect reasons. And uh, not all three reasons are given correct. So if you look at the question paper and they tell you this, you must write the reasons. I put my reason. You put it. Can I see? Can I see your reason? Can I see your reason? Oh, it's so dark. Um, it's a little okay. Well done, well done. Okay, I can see. Congratulations, congratulations. Well done. Wow, this is like a, a different Emma I'm teaching this year. Lah. What do you think? Yes, sir. Huh? So, are you going to be a maths teacher? Nah? No, are you? That's what you see now. Let us see. Yeah, end of sec four. Okay, number 13. Uh, can you do? I hate number 13 sort of question. I uh, don't what? know to do B. A can do, yeah. 
What's your answer? Twelve. Let us see. Yeah. Twelve correct. Okay, let us see the okay. Here we go. The tables, the arrangement of tables and chairs. Okay, this is a table and the chairs in a cafe start a sequence. Four. And then this one becomes six. And becomes eight. Okay, so we notice the 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 here. We can we can like draw a table if you like. Okay, imagine this is a table. Okay, this is the n term. And this is the value. Okay, so the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. Let's see. And the first one is first term you have four. The value is four, right? And then six, and then eight, and then ten. Am I correct? Twelve. Is this true? Yes, right? So let us just check. Let us just check. I, 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 your not is not convincing from your okay. So arrangement one. Okay, we call it, I call it N, but arrangement one is four chairs, six chairs, eight chairs. Okay. We have the next question here. All about chairs, right? So I don't need to write. Since they, they're only asking about chairs, I don't need to write. Sorry, I put chairs on here. I don't need to write tables here because they didn't ask anything about tables. Can you see the first term is all is four? The first term is four. So, all right. The second term is you plus two, plus another two, plus another two, plus. So, if I ask you for the ten term, can you tell me what it is? Uh, your your calculation is counting. She's counting. Let's see. You, can, you cannot count. I'm going to put a hundred then. <laughs> Can you find a formula? Yeah. Let me just arrange one of five. Are you plusing two all the way at the hundred? No. No. Huh? Okay. Find the difference. Find the difference. Not so how? Can? No. Okay. So let us see. Let us see. Yeah. This, if I want to find the first term, let's say it's four. I'm going to show you a few ways. Okay. Four. The second term. I can take, let's say I take 1 times 2, I get 2. I need to plus a 2, I get 4. Mm -hmm. 2 times 2, I get 4, I still must plus a 2. 3 times 2, I get 6, I plus a 2, I get 8. 4, if I times 2, I get 8, I plus a 2, I get 10. 5, I 5, I times 2, I get 10. Then I must plus a 2, I get 12. So 100, I must times by? Times by? Hello? 
one times two, I get two, then plus the two. Two times two, and then plus the two. Three times two, and then plus the two. Four times two, and then plus the two. Five times two, and then plus the two. Hundred times? Fifty. No, no, you go and divide. Hello? Watch again. Eh? One times two, one times two, I get two. Two plus two, I get four. Two times two, I get four. Plus a two, I get six. Three times two, I get six. Plus a two, I get eight. Four times two, I get eight. Plus a two, I get ten. Five times two, I get ten. I plus a two, I get twelve. Hundred times two. Two, I get two hundred. And then I have to plus a two. Two hundred and two. So now the question did ask you for the hundreds. That thing they ask you what is the n term, not a national n term, ah, huh? n term. So if it's n down here, what do you do? What is the step? Do the same thing. n times two. Two. You get two n. Then you must plus two. Okay. This is your formula. This is. Are you okay? Now, how to come up? With this. This is what we call um, very very. E uh, a, a question that you get that you need to there is no formula to remember you must look out for patterns for example just now you had a wing end is it on your table yeah now the wing end after you smashed it did it die maybe yeah. it's in, in its throes of death now lah, suffering but you are certain it's going to die yeah Okay, so you see the cockroach dies, the lizard dies, our great parents die. Do you think you're going to be alive all, uh, all, all your life or you will die mm. also? You will die, right? So you are seeing a pattern. Although there are some people who are saying, claiming, you know, we might be able to extend our life forever. But logically looking at a pattern, you will die, I will die, every living thing will die. That is looking out for patterns. This is what we do as human beings, looking out for patterns. So this is now pattern seeking. You see, how is this important? You know, there are some friends that you have, you can look at the pattern of behavior. Do you notice patterns in them? Some of them get very violent or they start to, yeah? When certain things happen, they get violent. They get violent. For you, there might be a pattern. Certain times you feel really sad. What triggers it? You got to find out there's a certain pattern. For girls and women, of course, you have your month, monthly cycles. That is one of the factors that can cause you to go haywire. But there are other factors. So if you look out for patterns in your life, you will understand yourself better. This is the whole purpose of finding out. But you might be saying, what is nonsense is you are looking out for patterns. In life, you need to look out for patterns. Okay. I can see that you may disagree. But it's okay to disagree. Okay, here we go. So let's go back now to question number... We have a, um, do we, okay. I just go through the answers. So question number 14, you are able to do it, right? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you showed me your, okay, let us see what's the answer like. Is your answer something like this? Yeah. Same, eh? More or less same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 15, oh, that's the end. Okay. So that's the end. Congratulations. Okay, now we go to um, we go to the book now. You have your book, right? Um, do you do any of the questions? You wanted to go through speed, right? Yeah. You are going to have... Ah, 8C. Do you know how to do question one? Yes. Just now now you, you know. What's your answer? 7.2. How you get that, you you have working for that, or you just do? You have your working. Can you show me? Two times three point six. Congratulations! How do you get that? You memorize what? No. Then. Because it's three six zero zero for like the. Okay, okay. Your teacher tells you just times by three six zero. Is it? Is it true? No. So if you want to change reverse, you divide by three six zero. Okay. You're okay, right? In that. Yeah. Now. For number two, what's your answer? 18, 1 over 3. 18, 1 over 3. Yeah. Okay, just hold on. Huh? I got to... Because there's no answer key on here. So 66 times 36... Uh, 66,000... 
66,000 divided by 3600. 18, 1 over 3. Well done. Okay, so you know the formula. Well done. You know the formula. I'm just going to show you where is this 3600. You know the method we did just now? And the method now? Okay, it's actually the same. I want, just want to show you it's the same. Okay, so that you do, you're not confused. Huh? Earlier on, we did this, right? Which one is, uh, which question is it? The one with the speed. Because we have our working there. Okay, I need you to use your calculator. Can you see? Convert km to hour to meters per second. Actually, you could have done it straight, right? You times, you times, uh, you divide, right? From km, I think you need to divide or time. You need to divide, right? You divide by 3600, right? So let us see now. What do you do down here? Can you see now? First of all, 60 minutes, you divide by 60, you get 1. Then you divide by another 60. So you, you try now, 60 times 60 is what? Can you try to use your calculator, 60 times 60? 3600. So actually, you can divide by 3600. But what I did was I divide by 60 first, then I divide by another 60. If you're going in reverse, you times by 60 and times another 60, which is also 3600. So there is no difference. What I've done is I've shown you the steps of why it has to be 3600. But I didn't tell you 3600. I, I, I did the first one. First one, I said, you times by 60, then times by 60 again. That's what I, I met, uh, we went through. Times by 60, times 60, 60 is times by 3600. Same thing. You divide by 60, divide by 60, is dividing by 3600. Do you get it? You can see the link. Eh? You must see the link, okay? I do not want you to follow the procedure, divide by 3600, times by 3600. Someone asks you why, you say, I don't know. My teacher tell me so. Now you can prove, no? Oh, if I do it this way, I can see the breakdown. Now I truly understand. Okay, let us now go to question number... Uh, have you done question number three? No. Okay, let us try question number three. I have uh, question number three. Let, uh, let me share now. Where is the... Okay, where is... Hold on. Just let me see. Yeah. Are you going to have a test on speed uh, this week or something? Not this week. Sometime soon. Okay. Down here. Okay. I think this is the one. Is this one? Okay, now this is the one, right? An airplane flies a distance of 6199 km from Frankfurt to, Frankfurt to New York. The average speed of the plane is 7200. Calculate the flight time. Now, what is the formula for speed? If you want to find time, what's the formula? Distance over speed. So take 6199 divided by 720. What do you get? Decimal. Okay, don't worry about the decimal. Huh? Now, I want you, you got 8.609 something, 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 right? Yeah. Okay, now minus the 8. Put in your calculator minus the 8. Equals to, do you get 0 0.609, whatever? Yeah. Now, this is of 60 minutes times by 60. Times this number by 60. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Times by... That's an hour, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you get? 36.58. Okay, so 36.58. Okay, just let me, let me just divide because I forgot to minus the 8. Okay, minus 8. Now, times by 60, 36.58. So, they want you now to the nearest minute. So, this one is how many minutes? This is 36 minutes and something seconds. So change it to how many minutes? Is it 36 minutes? 37 minutes? 37 minutes. Okay, that's it. So now I want you to try this. Sir. Uh, now 7.33 uh, minutes. 
can you change it to 7.3, uh, 7 sorry, 7.3333 hours? Can you change it to hours and minutes? Seven. Seven hours and minus the seven first. You get 0 0.3333 times 60. Hello? Ken? No need to do working, use your calculator. 439. Sorry, sorry? 439.998. 43, okay. One by one, by one. okay. You take now 7.3333. Key in into your calculator. 7.3333. Okay? Yeah. That is in hours. Eh? We want to change that hours into hours and minutes. Now you are very clear it's seven full hours. So minus the seven hours, what do you get? 0 0.333. Times by 60. Times that by 60. 19. 19 point. Nearest minute. minute? Nearest minute? 20. Yes. So 7.3333 is... Uh, hours is equal to 7 hours and 20 minutes. You need more example, we need, we, we try another one. 7.54 hours. How many hours minute, how, how many hours and minutes is 7.54 hours? 7 and Point. Thirty-two minutes. Okay, so you know how to convert, huh? You know how to convert? Yeah. Yes, huh? Okay, question number four. You have your answer? I did it halfway. Okay, can you try to complete it? Eight hundred. Eight hundred km. Wow, cannot be lah. Miss, you did not change. Do you between nine eight forty five and nine o five? How many minutes is that? Is it twenty minutes or twenty hours? Twenty minutes. But you put twenty hours. Oh. When you put into the formula, you must remember the formula doesn't differentiate. They assume you're going to put in hours. So how many hours is 20 minutes? Just use a fraction. Divide by? Divide by? 60. So what do you get? In fraction, what do you get? 20 over 60. What is that? 1 over 3. 1 over 3. So it's one third. So what is... So now to find distance, distance equals to? Formula? So your speed is 40, your time is one third. So 40 over 1 times 1 over 3. Remember, the, the, the formula is like a computer. What you put in, it will give you the answer to that. So you put in minutes, they will assume it's hours. Yes, decimal. Never mind. Change it to fraction, you can see. Change it to fraction. Because you have a fraction, right? 13, 1 over 3. Yes, well done. A unit, is it meters or centimeters? KM. KM, congratulations. You're more confident eh, nowadays, eh, Emma. Do you agree? Do you feel it? Nana? Can you feel it? Eh? Yes, no? <laughs> See, do one answer? What can I do? I cannot do anything. Okay, let's try. Question number five. A boy walks 1,000 meters, which is how many km is 1,000 meters? 
1,000 meters, how many km? This one. 1 km. 1 km. Huh? At average speed of 4 meters per second. Now, why always they use the word, why do they always use the word average? I explained to you in primary school, but why? Why did you just say they, a boy walks 1,000 meters at a speed, why must they put the word average there? Just like when you drive a car down here, you see, eh? Okay, now leave some for work. I think he's driving a car or something. 40 km per hour. Why don't he just say it's like, you know, um, at, a, at a speed, not average speed. You know why? Because average means agak aga. It's more or less like that. When he starts the journey is zero, he doesn't start traveling at like Batman at 40 km. You need to stop at the traffic light, it becomes zero. Right? And then you start again, 5 km per hour, 10 km, 50. It might be more than 40 km and then it slows down and becomes more than 40. But on average, when you divide the distance by time, it gives you an average speed, speed aga aga speed. That's why they use the word average. Same thing down here. When he walks, sometimes he stops at the traffic light, his speed will be zero km per hour. But on the average, aga aga roughly, is about 4 km per hour. That's what he's saying. So he then runs 2.2 km in 10 minutes. Calculate in time, in minutes, how long he takes to walk that 100, 1,000 meters. How long will he take? In minutes. But you try and up. Okay, what's your answer? Emma, you're doing all or you're doing the first? Have you completed the first one? I don't want to convert. Okay, first of all, you 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 tell me the, the steps that you do. Do you change this to KM first? Wait. You must change again because you look at your speed. Your speed is measured in KM per hour. So you got to change this to KM also. You must follow the speed. The speed in KM per hour, change this to KM. Okay, what's your answer? Can not? We do we do together, okay? We do together down here. I'm just gonna down here. Where is the other thing here? Okay, hold on. Uh. Let me just okay, so I'm gonna show it here. You cannot see, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need this thing here. Okay, we 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 don't tell me I'm hanging. Okay, if it's gonna hang, I gotta show. Oh, oh. I think it hang. Okay, but anyway, uh, let me show you then on the board. Now you have a thousand meters, huh? and then the speed is four km per hour. Let me just indicate here first. Speed is four km per hour, right? And then the distance is. 1,000 meters, which you say is equal to 1 km, correct? 
right now. Eh? You want to find the time. You want to find the time. Formula for time is given as what? Distance over speed. Distance over speed. All right. Distance divided by speed. Eh? So, which is down here. This distance is 1 km divided by speed, 4. And this is in hours. You must follow the thing. This is in hours. So, you want to find this in minutes. Very simple. One quarter hour, you just times it by 60. And you will get the answer is 15 minutes. How? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Now we try the next question now. B. Okay. Once you finish this question, then we will stop now. Okay. The next question on here is, find his running speed. In km per hour, uh, he ran 2.2 km in 10 minutes. But they want this to be in km per hour. You got to make sure your unit here is in km and this is in hour. You got to make sure about that. Are you okay? Can eh? Do you need the questions? Sir? You got the answer? I've written the points here. You just tell me what to do. Check units first. You must remember secondary school, make sure you check the units. Is this in KM? Yeah. Good. Is this in hour? No. Change it to hour. How to change the hour? Okay. Don't need to use decimals. I can use fraction straight. What do you get? <laughs> One over six. One over six hour. So, formula for speed, what's the formula for speed? Distance divided by time. Okay, were you referring to your book just now? Yes, sir. You memorized, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. For the formula, you got to memorize, that means. Distance divided by time. So, what is the distance? There, 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 there. 2.2. 2.2. Now, I am going to write it as divide like that. Divide by, what's the time? 1 10. over... No, no, no. Uh, 1 over 6. So you can write it like 2.2 .2 over 1 times 6 over 1. Correct, right? Flip. Okay. Then you get this. So what's the answer? You can... You can... 13 13.2. 13.2. 13.2 km per hour. Is it all right? You're not confused, right? You're okay, right? Yeah. Okay, so we do the last question, the last part of the question, which is uh, his average speed for the whole distance. So what's the formula for average speed? There is a formula for average speed. Formula is average speed is equals to what? What does your book say? No, I don't have uh, Okay, total distance. Same thing. It's distance over time still, but now it's total. I gave you an example last year. Now let's say, for example, this guy... He's jogging and running. In between, he went to the toilet. Do you include the toilet time? Yes. Yes. So, it's total time. So, then, 
you can find it then. So you, you, you know the question, right? So we, we look at the question again. If you do not have the question, yeah. Find his average speed for the whole distance. So you tell me what's the total distance. Do you have the total distance? What is yeah. it? How much? 3.2. Good. 3.2 divided. But what's the total time? 10 minutes. No. 10 minutes is only for the second part. The running is 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes is 1 over 6. Remember, there's not 1 over 6 hours. Because remember, this is in what? They want you in... Probably the other one is how much? 104. The first part is 104, right? A, remember for this one? 10, 5 over 12. 10, 5 over 12. That's the answer, is it? No, that's the total time. You are... Okay, let's see, huh? You get over 12, over 12, oh no, you get 3, you get 2, 5 over 12, congratulations. So you got to divide this by 5 over 12. Okay, once you get this like that, huh? I do not know, okay, let me show you. Like that, you can use your calculator, no problem. But I suggest do it like that, 3.2 over 1, because this is divide, right? Divided by 5 over 12, so that you're not confused. Then 3.2 over 1 times 12 over 5. Now you use your calculator and calculate. And you will get your answer. Seven point six eight. Yes, seven point six eight kilometers per hour, because you have changed this to hour. This is in hour. Your this one is in km. So your answer is seven point six eight km per hour. Okay, sorry, I'm not blocking. Okay, Emma, we will stop here, but maybe you can complete the next page. Yes, another three more questions. In fact, you can also go to the earlier one because you said that rate is also being covered, right? Am I, am I correct? Rate is also being covered. So you have worksheet B down here. Before that is rate. This is 8B. Just now we did 8C. And then you can even do the first one, which is ratio. You said ratio is also coming out, right? So you can do the whole of chapter 8. In fact, the answer key is at the back. Lah. Hey, the answer key is at the back. So you can do the whole of chapter 8 if you want to. If you're, if you're having a ratio, rate and speed, correct? Try your best. Lah. Try to do as many as questions as you can. Okay, Emma? Anything you want to highlight? No. Okay then. So I'll say goodbye to you. I will message you the link to YouTube and to you and your mom. Okay? Okay, bye-bye. See you.